philosophy of the Greek uh, we are born with the one, we are born with the two, we are born with the three. And today we are going to be looking at work tutorial video four on production possibility scale. Work tutorial video four on production possibility scale. Now, video one we explain the work production possibility scale. Video two we solve. Video three we explain, and video four we are going to solve. Now, in work tutorial video four, it talks about a country producing two goods. This book country is producing tractors and as well as producing what bananas. That's what work tutorial video four explains. A country producing two goods, tractors and bananas. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain how the country PPC is, and we're going to still explain how the converse PP is all about. Now, in this video, the, the first question that was said to us was asked the same. Which point on the figure shows the use or the use of efficient method of production? That means at what level will the country be producing at efficient? The country will only be producing at efficient at point what? At point G. That's when the country will be producing at what? At efficient. Why? Because the country is producing using his resources is fully utilizing his resources efficiently using his resources. His resources are fully used, the population size here has increased, the level of technology has increased. So at that level, the country is doing what is efficiently using his what his resources. Point two, the ask of at what level will the country be using inefficient method in production? The country will only be using inefficient method of production when the level of technology is low, which is at this level at point A. At point A, the level of technology is what? Low. The population size is what? Low. The, the level of economic growth is what? Is low. So at this level, the country will be producing a what? Inefficient method. Now, question two, this is supposed a country at point B on the on the figure wants to move to point G. That means he wants to move from point B at here and to point G at this area. Now, so I want what would be the opportunity cost of producing banana? That means the country wants to move from point B. To point what? Point G. What will be the opportunity cost of this country leaving tractor to produce what? Banana. That's what you need to know. The opportunity cost for this country to produce banana is to do what? Is to forgo five units. Is to forgo five units of what? Of tractor in order to produce what? 20 units of what? Banana. He's moving from point 30 to what to point 25, which is moving from B to what to G. So for him to produce banana, he needs to forego five units of what of 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 of, of tractor in order to produce what banana. In order to produce 20 units of what banana. And if should in case they ask the question the other way around. And they said, what will be your opportunity cost of producing, uh, uh, moving from point G to point B for producing of tractor? That means the country has to forgo 20 units of what? Of banana to produce what? To increase from 25 to what? To 30 units of what? Of tractor. So the country, remember, opportunity cost explain the next best forgotten alternative. Meaning the next best forgotten alternative means the country has to produce, you have to forgo this in order to produce what this. And now in the other question, they say identify the shape associated with the two other types of PPC. In the other video, we we'll try to explain them. The, the two other types of PPC that we know is what? We have the straight line PPC and then we have what? The converse PPC. We have the straight line PPC and the converse PPC. 
either showing that the country is producing too good. But based on the question, the country is producing too good tractors and what? Banana. That's what you needed to do at that level. And then they say that you should take the assumption of a PPC. In our previous video, we did explain the assumptions of a PPC. The first assumption is that resources must be mobile, resources must be um, fully utilized, the level of technology is constant, they must be too good to produce either good X or good Y. So in this question, they ask us to speak four assumptions. So that, those are the four assumptions that you need to know in as much as the production possibility curve is concerned. Then now, there's a list four conditions for which a country is to produce a word at point Z. When a country is producing at point Z, what happens? There is economic growth. At this level, there is what? Economic growth. That's why the country is producing at point Z. There is economic growth. There is increase in what? In the standard of living. Increase in what? Standard of what? Living. There is increase in standard of living. That's when the country is producing at point what? At point Z. There is increase in what? Increase in population size. Increase in pop. Increase in population. That the country is producing at what? At point Z. And then there is also what? Um, fully utilized. Resources are what? Fully utilized. So we utilize all our resources. So those are the conditions under which this country is producing at this level. Resources, there's economic growth, increase in living standard, increase in population size, full utilization of economic resources, and all the other. So that's when the country can produce it at this level. What if a question comes, they can, okay, then they say, stick four conditions under which a country is producing at point A. This point A at this level. This four uh, possibility that this country should be producing at point A is that what there's low population size, low pop, there's low population size, um, 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 resources are um, um, unutilized, there's unutilization of resources, you can put unutilization of resources, um, the, the, the low level of economic growth, the level of, level of economic growth is low, level of economic economic growth is low is low then so when you state them um, at this you are giving the opposite of why the if the country is producing as Z so they gave the answer to, to talk about the if the country is producing inside the PC. So when the country is producing inside at this level it shows that what there is in a low level of technology the level of technology is low, the population size is low, the resources are unutilized, the economic growth is low, and the standard of living at that level also will be, will be also what? Low. So that is the only condition at which the country is producing at this level. Then they say, if the if the question comes in this other way, if the country wants to produce, wants to um, move from point A to point Z, what will happen? If the country wants to move from year to year, what will happen? The country, the, 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 the population size must increase. There must be an increase in the population size for the country to move from point A to point Z. There must be full utilization of resources for the country to move from point A to point B and to point Z. And there must be what? The level of technology must increase for the country to move from point A to what? Point Z. So that's how a question can, say, can be said at that level. So, Opportunity cost, you already know what opportunity cost is all about. The next best for one opportunity, where if a country wants to move from B to G, you have to move five units of, of tractor to produce 20 units of what? Of banana. So you already know that, you know the different types of production possibility curve. Um, I think that that's all for, for the production possibility curve. A question, any question that can come at that level, you can answer it at that level. And, um, Opportunity cost means the next best for one opportunity. And you know the three different principles of production and production possibility curve. We have the um, scarcity, choice, and opportunity cost. So that these are the three different principles in that that production. It explains the principle of choice, scarcity, and opportunity cost. I know what choice is all about. Choice is the act of selecting between two or more alternatives. If the country wants to make a choice, the country has to 
do what he has to do. Uh, draw his list of unsatisfied ones, arranging order of importance. These are the list of unsatisfied ones, arranging order of importance. The most important at the top, which is at 30, and the least important at the bottom, which is at 5. So if they continue now, as position at this level, and the um, opportunity cost now is the next place for government to be able to understand. And scarcity means the resources are not able to supply every need. So it will be relative in supply. Uh, M, M. Scarcity means limited in supply and relative to demand. So at that level, you see that when the country does not have all the income or every other aspect to, to get these goods and services, what you need to be, you need to make what choices. So you know, we have seen how opportunity cost is getting from here, scarcity is getting, and choice is getting. Okay, you have also seen the various assumptions of the production facility, and if the country is increasing, it's uh, moving at the level of uh, the concave efficiency, you know what it has caused need to move, and when it's moving at the concave efficiency, you have known what it has caused need to move. And you have known where there is efficient production and less efficient production. Okay, that this was the end for tutorial for tutorial video four on the production possibility curve. If you got any question in terms of the production possibility curve is concerned, the comment box is left for you to put your questions in the comment box. So each time there's a video, we're going to be notified each time. And commenting on our comment box is to tell us that you understood the topic or you don't understand the topic or you have a question that you want us to put more videos on that. So. Um, in the production of the political, please buy for now and we put your comments and so we can make more features in the of the production of the political is concerned. Okay, bye for now and see you in the next video.